There were hugs and tears inside a courtroom here in Oshawa as three OPP officers learned that the Crown would be withdrawing all charges against them. And defense lawyers told me that while it's a relief for their clients to no longer be charged in connection with the death of an 18 month old, this case has certainly changed these officers forever. So it's a huge sense of relief, but there's no there's no celebration here. For more than three years, three OPP officers have stood accused in connection with the death of a toddler during a police chase in Lindsay, Ontario, back in 2020. The pursuit in this case was textbook. These officers did everything right. They did everything in accordance with their training. They did everything in accordance with the law. The Crown prosecutor now agrees, withdrawing all charges stemming from the incident. The chase started after a reported child abduction. Officers shot at the car, killing 33-year-old William Shapiro. His 18-month-old Jameson also struck and killed, seated on his father's lap. Just be advised, there's a child in that vehicle. There's a child in the vehicle. Police dispatch audio shows the officers knew the child was in the car. The SIU investigated, and officers Grayson Kappis, Nathan Vander Hayden, and Kenneth Pengali were charged with manslaughter, aggravated assault, and reckless discharge of a firearm. A previous charge of criminal negligence was already dropped, but in court today, the Crown withdrew all remaining charges. The hell on wheels that uh, was underway when the police were called to respond uh, to save lives it was very clear in the evidence. The lawyers were prepared with an argument of self-defense, but the Crown said following the preliminary hearing this January, the officers released their notes from the incident. The notes showed the officers saw the suspect with a gun, were aiming at him, and could not have assumed the child was on the father's lap. Knowing he was armed and traveling at a high rate of speed, the Crown said the danger to the officers and the public was evident and a jury was unlikely to convict. Carrying very serious charges for three and a half years uh, changes you. The OPP says after an incident like this, training will be looked at, but the focus remains on all those involved. Anybody that was even peripherally involved with this, their lives have been affected and changed forever as a result of this. Now, the Crown suggests that the next step for this case should be a coroner's inquest. That way, the training of the officers and their response can be examined to see if any systemic changes need to be made at the OPP level. And as for the officers and whether they'll return back to work and how quickly that might happen, we didn't get an answer from the defense lawyers today. Chris Glover, CBC News, Oshawa.